Hello, good evening. I am Joshua from the Philippines. And before that, I would like to share that uh, many hundred years ago, the Philippines are mostly Muslims. And before the Spaniards came, now we are mostly Christians, mostly Catholics. In my country, there's a lot of uh, religions, different kind of uh, Christian religions, and most of them claim that uh, if you follow the religion and you come to join them, you have a better chance to be saved, to go to heaven. And uh, I am a Catholic. For me, I think religion is just a, a guide. It is not uh, the religion who can save you. I think it is you. You can save yourself if you do good things, whatever religion you are in. So my question, is Islam is the same as this religion, claiming to be the one true religion that if you embrace Islam, you have a better chance to go to heaven? That's my first. And uh, the second one, before I go to the second question, I realize that Islam is all about peace and righteousness, not the other way around that I used to think many years ago. And I'm sorry for that. And uh, I'm really grateful and uh, thankful to the UAE, especially Dubai, and all its leaders for giving us the freedom, the opportunity to live here peacefully and exercise our faith, whether you are a Christian, Buddhist, Hindu. I thank you. And I think Dubai, the UAE, is the number one example of peace and unity where all ethnicity, religion come together, work in peace and harmony, peacefully together. Thank you. So I would like to say God bless UAE and all its leaders. God bless Islam. God bless Christianity. God bless Buddhism, Hinduism, and all other religions in the world. God bless to all of us and peace to all of us. So my second question is, Sorry. <laughs> I want to talk about jihad. Brother, this is a question answer time. No, and normally just... a question is only of two or three sentences. Okay, if you speak that's... for more than two or three sentences, it becomes a speech. We right. want I'm to sorry, be I'm sorry. just. No, I'm sorry. But... I request anyway. the non Muslim brothers and sisters, this is a question answer time, not a speech time. For speech, inshallah. After everyone gets over, we can sit in the majlis, in the <laughs> guest room, and we can talk. I don't mind, but there are, mashallah, tens of thousands of people here. So let's respect the time. Okay. Brother, I ask to, a question. I just yes. want to talk about... Uh, if you have any questions, yes. please, only pose the yes, question. Yes, this one. Two or three sentences, brother. I want uh, to know what really jihad means. Because uh, I've seen a lot of uh, the television, there's a few individuals using jihad in a, in a harm way. So, what really jihad means to Islam? And, you know, since this is about peace. I request the non-Muslims that it will be preferable if you pose one question at a time. For the second question, you can go behind the other non-Muslims. You don't have to go behind the complete queue. So that, you know, not like yesterday, many non-Muslims couldn't ask the questions. I request the non-Muslim ask one question. If it's an interlinked question, two is acceptable. But if you ask six questions, three questions, four questions, it will be difficult to fulfill and answer all the questions. The brother asked two questions. The first question, he said that he believes religion. It is a guide, but he doesn't believe that everything is truthful, that it can take him to heaven. He wants to know what is the position of Islam and can Islam take him to Jannah and what is the Quran. And the second question is, what is the meaning of jihad? As far as the first question is concerned, 
if you believe that Bible is a guide, if suppose when you appear for an examination, maybe for bachelor's degree, many a time for every subject there is a guide. Would you like to follow a guide which is an old edition or a guide which is the latest edition? Brother, which guide you like to follow, old edition or latest edition? I would like to follow both. Both. So previously, science used to say the light of the moon is its own light. Today, science says light of the moon is reflected light. Which do you believe in? Old or new? <laughs> Brother, you are from Philippines. I thought Filipinos were intelligent people. Which do you follow, old or new? Previously, people thought the world was flat. They did not go too far, less they would fall over. Today, science says that the world is spherical. Which will you believe, flat or spherical? Both. Which? Because I will follow the new. If the old is correct, no problem. Many a time, there are certain things which are correct in the old. So if you compare both, and if you find commonalities, you can follow part of the old and the new one completely. But you should verify whether the new one is correct or not. The earlier question asked by the brother, how do you come to know this guide is truthful? And I told you that today, with the help of science, we can prove the only religious scripture, which is 100% perfect and matches with established scientific fact, it is the Quran. So based on that, if you follow a wrong guide, you may not be successful in the examination. This world, brother, is a test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalakal mawata wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you in good and deeds. So when you appear for the test, you should even read the correct guide. And the last and final guide for the human beings, it is the glorious Quran. After this, no other guide will come. No other messenger will come. So this is the only book that will take you to salvation, that will take you to heaven, that will take you to Jannah. As far as the second question is concerned, that what is the meaning of the word jihad? The word which is maximum misunderstood in Islam is jihad. It is not only misunderstood by the non-Muslims, it's even misunderstood by the Muslims. Most of the non-Muslims and Muslims think that any war fought by any Muslim for any reason, whether it be for money, whether it be for wealth, whether it be for personal gain, whether it be for fame, whether it be for land, is called as jihad. Jihad does not mean any war fought by any Muslim, whether it be for wealth, for land, for fame. Jihad comes from the Arabic word jihada, which means to strive, which means to struggle. In Islamic context, jihad means to strive and struggle against one's own evil inclination. Jihad means to strive and struggle to improve the society. Jihad also means to strive and struggle in self-defense in the battlefield. Jihad also means to strive and struggle against oppression. Jihad basically means to strive and struggle. For example, if a student strives and struggles to pass in the examination, in Arabic we'll say he's doing jihad. Many people have a misconception that jihad can only be done by Muslims. There are no less than two places in the Quran which say that even non-Muslims do jihad. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 14, we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. In travel upon travel, the mother bore you, and in pain did she give you birth. The next verse, Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse number 15 says, but if your parents do jihad, strive and struggle to make you worship somebody else besides Allah of which you have no knowledge do not obey them but yet live with them with love and compassion Quran repeats that message in Surah Ankabu chapter 29 verse number 8 that Allah says we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents but if their parents do jihad strive and struggle to force them to worship somebody else besides Allah then don't obey them here, Allah is talking about non-Muslim parents who are forcing their children to do shirk, to worship somebody else besides Almighty God. So here, Allah is saying that the non-Muslim parents are doing jihad. But this jihad is jihad fi sabilil shaitan. What we Muslims should do is jihad fi sabilillah. 